Hello there. I'd like to talk to you about this little gem that's been uh, part of my collection for a good few years now. It's uh, an old game from 1995, I believe. It's called Chewy Escape from F5. It's from a, a German company called Blue Byte. And it's a point and click adventure game with a very LucasArts feel to it. Absolutely superb. It really is. Something I played first when I was a teenager, and it's something I keep coming back to. So let's dig in, let's take a look and see what it's all about. Okay, let's enter into the lion's den. Oh, I do enjoy coming back to this game every few years. Pure nostalgia for me, this. Absolute pure nostalgia. So when you first install it and run it, you'll be given this little intro, which pretty much sets the scene. And you play as this little pink character, as if you couldn't guess, called Chewy. You're basically there as backup while your friend breaks into a space station called F5 to steal this red orb thing. And the locals aren't too impressed. And these are the locals, these green things, they're called the Borks. This all ends up as a fight in outer space. Followed by a crash landing for our little buddy here. And this leaves Chewy to deal with the Borks on his own, rather unsuccessfully in the end. Because he gets captured, and that's really when the game begins. Once the game begins, we find ourselves in our prison cell aboard F5. And this is where the adventure begins for breaking out. This is the first of several zones, first Escape zone being on board F5, F5 itself. For beginners. It might... If that gets into my eyes, it'll blind me. And it's your typical point and click adventure game. Everything's controlled by the mouse, so right clicking brings up the menu bar for commands like walk, interact, look at, talk to, and of course access your inventory as well. The whole game is just one logic puzzle after another. And when I say logic, not everything's that logical really. It's one of those games where you're trying every item with every other item on everything in the screen. It's got a very LucasArts feel in that respect. And if you want to get an idea of the sort of humour around this game, well this character is called a Nemoyan, which is a very Spock-like character. This machine does not compromise my acoustical perception in the least. Then tell me how I get out of here! You must open the exit and go through it. Some help you are, mister! Where is the exit? Something tells me you could stand a good exit. Could you be more precise? Precision is one of my specialties. Like yeah, interacting with characters in this game will give you additional hints and tips. Understand. And now I've got to introduce you to the best character in the game, the Serimi, which is some rat-like thing. I know exactly where you're hiding. Hey, wait! This thing just bit me! 
So yeah, eventually we do manage to escape F5. We fly away and, oh, we crash again. And we crash into the house of a, a very unsuccessful writer no in the town of writer. Small Town. Yep, that's right. An alien crash in a town called Small Town. So hey, let's help this guy out and write him a novel. In fact, let's write him the novel of our escape from F5. Maybe it'll be a bestseller. We already did the number with the book. Should I be getting the Bork's baseball caps ready? Right, so now we've enlisted the help of Howard the failed writer, we can start to explore the town a bit more and... What better disguise for an alien than, well, this? Nice costume, short stuff. At least it looks a little more humanoid than you do. Okay, let me try to explain the basic premise of this game. You're trying to rescue your friend Clint, who crashed in the Amazon, but you yourself crashed in Small Town. You need to defeat a ghost lady to win a prize in Small Town to get tickets to go to the big city, where you can get passage on a boat to the Amazon. Simple enough. Eventually we do make it to the big city, where Chewie gets himself a new disguise by, well, basically mugging somebody. Later. Later still. Even later still. Finally. Okay, long guy, what's your pleasure? Chewy, what's the matter? You look so different. Hey, baby, give me my Harley. Oh, Chewy, did you get whacked or something? Hey. So the overall goal of the Big How City Zone is to convince We've a publisher to publish your F5 said. manuscript so that you can afford good. the it's boat fare to get to Amazonia. That sounds really familiar. Yeah, it's convoluted. Oh, yes. I spent a good couple of days on this, so... I'm sorry, gentlemen. Have a nice day. So let's skip ahead. You do eventually make it to Amazonia, only to find out that your friend Clint is being worshipped as some sort of god or idol. Margaritas till the cows come home. Free drink. You really want to eat them? Yeah, I'm not sure this game is as PC as it possibly could be in places, but... You do bump into a, a tribe in Amazonia that you have to interact with. Anyway, you do eventually meet up with Clint again, only to return back to Big City to find out the Borks have taken over the planet, so now you've got to save that as well. Oh, it's convoluted. Well, I think I'll leave this video here. I just wanted to give you a little taste of what this game is like to play without giving away too much of the fine details because, well, you'll find that out for yourself when you, you play the game. This game runs beautifully for me under DOSBox and there's usually a couple of copies floating around on eBay for not a lot of money. I'll just leave you with one last clip of the Serimi in action. Serimi's got a real healthy appetite. If there were more of these around, there'd be a real steel crisis. 